this is Megan Bone, aka Tony Migu Saram Imidang. And while I was on vacation in Europe, I was posting pictures on Instagram, and you guys were like, Can you please tell us your makeup that you had when you was over there? I don't know why, because I'm not a makeup artist, but anyway, here it goes. So the first thing is skincare, ma'am. So, this is the deal. When I'm traveling and stuff, my skin turns horrible. I don't know if it's just because I'm eating a lot of junk food that I usually don't eat and like processed food, which I usually do not eat. And so my skin always like gets pretty jacked up for a while when I'm gone. Like even when I come back, it takes a good like month or so before my skin actually like settles back down. But it does help when I use masks when I'm abroad. So I have the detox mask and it's from Teamy, and it's actually really really good it's a clay mask and I like clay because it really helps with like inflammation so see now my skin is like kind of red and kind of like inflamed or whatever and it has lemongrass which is apparently like antifungal and stuff so it helps just kind of really clear that and like even your skin tone out and the good thing about it is it also like closes your pores and stuff like that <laughs> Princess Fiona. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That song's gonna be stuck in my head for the next 75 years. 75 years! We'll give you such a crick in the neck. Oh! I'll get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. I put too much. I got overzealous because it's a video. And you just leave it on for like 20 minutes, and I do this like every other day when I'm traveling. Can you imagine how much more red and unruly my skin would be? Actually this company, like Team Me, they're like cruelty free and whatnot, which is also great. I'm trying to get more like cruelty free products in my life. It just smells earthy, like a fresh lemongrass, green tea juice. So the time has passed and as you can see on my nose there was like a lot of blackheads and excess like sebum that it like really soaks it up. So as you can see there was kind of somewhat of an immediate effect. Just like a bit fewer pores like showing so strongly on my nose and stuff. I mean they're still there and they look horrible but you know what I'm saying there's less. So I use that so that my face can kind of like calm down etc and then move on to the makeup. So first I'm using my Jongsem Mul Essential Skin Neuter Cushion in the darkest color, deep medium. Now my forehead has always been darker than the rest of my body, even when I was little. So I always match my foundation and stuff to my cheeks and chin color, so I guess this one matches well. <laughs> Now I'm using my NARS concealer and I'm just going to conceal under my eyes. I don't have any other spots or anything to conceal, so literally just under my eyes for a little depth effect. And I'm using my NARS translucent powder to just press over my face, just on the spots of my face that get pretty oily, like my cheeks and forehead and chin. And since it's summer, I'm using my Becca bronzer in color Topaz. And I just use like it because it's shimmery. So I just use that to kind of contour my cheeks a little bit, the side of my forehead and my chin, etc. Look what a difference it made on the left side, making it slimmer. It's crazy, right? And now for the blush, I'm using my NARS Orgasm. It's so nice and it's shimmery. I love shimmery things. So I'm literally just gonna put it a little bit on my cheeks and kind of blend it in with the bronzer a little bit. I really like the way it looks with that Becca bronzer. I just think it looks really nice. Now for the eyebrows, because I got my eyebrows tattooed, all I literally have to do is brush them. And for the hairs that grew in, I just need to pluck them and kind of like make them look nicer. And I'm literally just gonna draw over them a little bit with a pencil, but not much. Very minimal effort required when you get your eyebrows tattooed. That's why I like it. Uh -oh. Now for the eyes, I'm just using this kind of skin nude color, I don't know what to call it, and I'm just using my fingers, honestly, because that's just how I roll, man. And then I'm gonna take that same color and put it under my eyes as well. And I'm gonna take this reddish brown color and kind of blend it in above my crease on my eye and kind of blend it upwards, like so. So you should have that nice gradient on the outer corners, it should be a little darker. And now I'm gonna take this darker color and put it on the bottom 
outer corners of the eye, just only the outer corners. And now I'm going to take the same bronzer and I'm going to use this bronzer as kind of an upper lid color to kind of make it gold and shimmery. And I'm also putting it at the bottom on the inner corner of the eye, not to overlap with the color we just put on the outer corner. And that's it for the eye shadows. I really like the way they all look and form together. I think they match pretty well. Now I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and I'm literally just going to line the bottom lash but not like the waterline, just only the eyelashes. And I'm going to take this nice light color and I'm going to just highlight the inner corners, man. The inner corners. My inner corners don't. Okay, I'm sorry. And take that same brown um, eyeliner and just eyeline the top lid just a little bit close to the thing. Today I really didn't want to have an eyeliner looking look because it's really hot outside and when it's hot outside I hate wearing eyeliner. I don't know why, I just do. Mascara and eyeliner are not for me when it's hot. Now in the pictures I did have eyeliner so if you want a completed look just put your eyeliner on. And my top lashes, I don't need mascara because I have my eyelashes extended just because I hate wearing mascara in the summer. I don't know, I'm very picky about those things. But so all I'm doing is just brushing my eyelashes out so that they could, I guess, form and be beautiful. And that is it for the eyes. Now I neglected to film the lipstick, but it is Bobbi Brown Italian Rose. I really like because it's like uh, shiny. And the other color I use all the time is Rose Petal because it's lighter and more nudie. So I toggled between the two of those on the trip. So I'm just using Italian Rose now because it's darker and I just decided to. And that is it for the lips and everything, actually. So thanks for watching the video. Make sure you visit teamyblends.com. Use my code so that you can get your detox mask if you want. And if you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Like me on Facebook, and I will see ya.